Ten Rules for Faking It is a rom-com with a lot of substance, alongside the normal clever chit-chat and amusing circumstances, and it thoroughly gets me. I like clever chat. The inward talking during Evely's first couple of dates made me giggle so hard. It seemed like something I would state or think. This epic addressed me with its relatable mockery and perceptions, from disliking beer to the discussion about Pepper Potts, whom I argue is a Marvel hero each possibility I get. The attention on an introvert character with social uneasiness is so startling thus enlightening. The depiction of social nervousness is lined up with my encounters of individuals who suffer from it. In any case, everybody encounters it in their own extraordinary way. I particularly cherished the manner in which the individuals nearest to Everly upheld her without judgment or unimportant advice. They were simply present for her, never frightened off by her feelings. That is uncommon in the present society. If this book levels one individual figure out how to be a steady companion to somebody who experiences any anxiety issue, it has done a ton of good. Everly is my number one character. I discovered her charming, relatable, clever, and keen. She has tremendous thoughts and a superb awareness of what's actually funny. Chris isn't generally as affable as a character, but he has some positive characteristics. His sympathy knows no limits. He is focused and determined. What's more, Stacy is the sort of companion everyone needs at least one in their lives. She is fun, full of life. The romance had its disappointing minutes, doubtlessly. Considering all things, as a reader, I realized it was inescapable from the earliest starting point. Furthermore, the manner in which the story finished really carried a tear to my eye. Obviously, I adored how it finished with the perfect little heartwarming detail. If you are searching for a light-hearted comedy with equivalent pieces of substance to go along with, 10 Rules for Faking is an impressive story for you to begin the new year with.